Hello, and we're going to do another episode of Sore Feet Adventurers. We left off, you left off with the <clears throat> Chrome and Axel leaving you as they left by River. So, everyone, so Ibalsev, Okri, Belrothian, Sora, and Sirsha, you were all sitting there as you were watching those figures disappear down the down on the channels as they are leaving. Whoa. What a true knight. I cannot wait to fight him in battle. I wish him which, dead already. Which one? Axel. Axel, okay. Yeah, Chrome's the one who used a, a person as a puppet. No, that's just terrible. Yeah. Bella just like, kind of just moves the, the body as um, Bella's carrying. And there's a, a louder noise. You guys finally notice him. Sound. Sounds like a flames and... It's kind of getting brighter behind you as the sky's getting darker. You see the building kind of pop up. It looks like the flame is springing larger and larger. The whole building just bursting into fire. I look back, wide-eyed, drop to my knees. Oh, that ale! It uh, could have been mine. Were there still people in that building? Evil. Then you hear screams. No, there's, ah! there's still... Oh. Yes. The boss is going to make her way back to the building. I'm going to make my way back to... <laughs> all right. They are all thumbs. Mm, we don't need them. As you, you, are, as you two head over there, you find there's more of a crowd. Looks like they're trying to put it out and just people kind of backing away from it. Screaming kind of. Are they screaming great. from the outside? or are they from the outside. Okay. Uh, is there anyone like trapped in the windows or anything? From what you see, you don't, you don't hear anybody, hear anything. You see the windows have kind of burst from the fire. Mm -hmm. We did see everyone who wasn't part of that escape. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure whoever stayed was trying to kill us. So, is everyone, are you just going to go to the back or are you going to go to the back to the street side? I'm going to go back to the street side. Street side. I'm going right. there too. Following Sora, I guess. All right. Bell kind of goes street side. You see Bell kind of hand off the person to someone else to one of the, looks like one of the city watch. Okay. I don't think Bell would do that. Bell would do it? No, I don't right. think so. Right. I'll do it. Would Bell let you take that person from him? Probably not well, until the person's get... checked to be okay. Well, to, oh, um, to carry, or perhaps to carry him and bring it to the guard. Oh, okay. Say, like, this person... I turn to Sora and say, Who knows? That person might have info that might help. Hmm. All right. And then um, you kind of get there. You you all would notice a... Well, I'm impressed with everyone's While everyone looks like there's people fighting the fire, a bright light appears eastward from where your position is. Kind of from the sky. And I cover like, my hands kind of a lot of and I poof. look. What you do see I see? Kind of lightning is like shining through the cloud, through the air, and you're looking at a light comes down from the sky. It kind of looks like some clouds are, are parting a little bit. And you see large balls, burning balls just come down from the sky and are falling down towards an area east, um, a couple miles from where your position is. You just see these burning um, meteor just. Huge explosions that they're hitting. Four of them are all coming down and hitting. Looks like the same area. Do we know what's in that is, area? Is it kind of the ground kind of shakes from the impacts. Is it like a public area where people... you? Um, you would have no idea. So, oh. from your understanding um, for the area, um, you know this. There is not. There's other people living there, but that's a lot of the, where the warehouses would be at. So maybe not as much is it a uh, from the public area. Hey, uh, is everyone else seeing that? It's hard to miss. It. I'm staring. I'm, I'm just hands on my hips, staring at it. No, not at all. I look at you. Hard to miss. Should we check it out? What's there left to check out? You see, uh, the world theme kind of watching just. It's not as we need to go check that. That is, if I'm correct, that is meteor swarm. And that is? It is one of the highest spells you you can cast. Only a true Archmage can cast that spell. Then why would we go into the direction of immediate danger? Do we know? There could be people who got hurt. Vast danger. From that, they might as well be dead or incinerated or crushed by the falling, hurtling rocks. And those who aren't? Burning alive. Do well, we guys... should stop them. Do you guys know any powerful mages that can do that? And I just look at Belle knowingly. Belle looks down. I think we know one. Hmm. 
Well, there are innocents that are that could be there. We must go. I no, just kind of nodding in agreement. We should, we should go. Might as well. Mm-hmm. More people are fighting, and then you're getting closer to the area. Of you see more people just scattering and kind of pick up debris, or look like they're shell shocked, kind of. Just, oh, like what happened? You know, just hear confusion kind mm-hmm. of through the streets as you're approaching the area. You can, you get. It takes you a little bit of time. You're getting there. Um. And on the way there, and here you can roll a, you can roll a perception jump. Okay. Would you stay there, or would you, uh, would you head out? Um. From the area where you were after you picked up the items you picked up. So after I picked up my items, I started running. Okay. You can roll. Are you flying or are you running? Uh, I think I just decided to run. I probably run a little bit, check where I'm at, and then fly. Okay. You can roll a perception jump. You can all roll a perception check. Sure. Trying to find out what's going on. Okay. Um, so that is a 14 for me. So passive, anyways. I know 14. you don't need to roll. <laughs> it's your shot. <laughs> 15. I have to go with my passive of 14. Okay. What 14. do I see? What'd you roll? Could be? 14. 14. Sersha, as you were making your way, you see a familiar flying figure above you. I'm invisible. Are you invisible? You yeah. Cast no, because... Um, oh? It ended. It ended as soon as the thing exploded and I teleported back? The, the visibility ended after once you came back to talk to them. No, because remember, Kurth cast it on me. I know. And then you went, it ended, and you cast another spell on me. Oh. Um, so you're not invisible. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I point up in the sky. Look there! Let's see. Is that Nahiri? And uh, you would looks. see um, Okri unreadying a javelin. Oh, must must be. <laughs> you, you look up. It does look like Nahiri. Is she being chased by anything? Not you can see. You're seeing Nahiri flying. Okay. Quickly. He also like takes off from the ground and bolts straight towards Nahiri. Miss Nahiri! You hear in the distance, Nahiri! And here is you're would flying I, would I hear over, that? Like, I'm like panicked. You're flying over, you hear a Nahiri, Nahiri is from, kind of coming from the other side. Nahiri! <laughs> you're like, <laughs> Dude, you're gonna scare can her. Can I oh. catch up to her? Yeah, you're flying up. As I'm you're gonna be dashing. She's coming towards you, you can go towards the I would be dashing. She, um, so. a boss pretty much heads you off. Oh, okay. So you're approaching off. them. Like, she tackle you into a hug. Oh, In midair? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, roll a strength test to your panicking. <laughs> she's gonna be yelling your name the entire you time. You can roll athletics if you want. She, or she's panicking. Like she, if you can, if you can see her face, you can see like she's so, sobbing. So. Both your roll athletics and like, acrobatics. I am. Um, I'm. Uh, attack would be athletics. Ten. If they athletics. Look like, if they oh, look that's like, like not twenty. Um, oh. I am going to chuck you off of me. And so essentially, I'm gonna be throwing you down, essentially. Okay, Because well, just... as far as I'm concerned, I am being attacked. I'll just do a somersault in the air and take off after you again. I'm okay. not gonna try hugging you again, but I'm gonna keep calling your name. So you should fly towards that here. And here you go to God, give a big hug, and this here is like, ah! Just squeeze and like throws you away from her and just, ah! ah. So you probably panic stop form. once. It's like, because you're, pro- you're, you're pretty. What, what time of day is it? It's getting really late. Okay, it's a dark. So it's, it's, it's dark now. Oh, I got night vision though. Crap. Um, oh. Mind you, balls is kind of shiny. Yeah, so balls is shiny. Mm-hmm. Okay, I probably notice, like after, like I, I probably have to do like a double take to see what it was, <laughs> as I was draw- probably drawing my dagger. You do, <laughs> so, and then balls says you get kind of thrown. You do like a, a chuck and a roll, and you kick off the wall to go back up. And how how up. high up are we? I thought we were above the buildings. Uh, the buildings are pretty tall. Uh-huh, and so we're pretty high up. Unless you were, you guys are um, over sixty feet up. Probably whatever my max. Just over, okay, super, if you're just over the spotted. roofs, I'll say if you're just over the roofs, then yeah, you kind of stop before you hit one of the roofs, and you just kind of catch yourself and you fly back up, and you realize this is Ibasa. Okay, uh, yeah, she's still crying, <laughs> and she sees, and she's just like, and you can see like she looks shell shocked, and she's like trembling as she's clutching something to her chest, and she's just like, Ibasa. Nahiri, are you okay? Are, are you hurt? What happened? You can tell. So she has wounds. Because, uh, so she was, 
uh, so you can see like lash marks all across her. She's like covered in dirt and her hair is a hot mess. I'm gonna try guiding you down towards like the roof of a building. Okay. Uh, an occupied roof. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna let me do that? Yeah, she'll let you. Okay, um, I'm casting healing word on you. <laughs> okay. You feel your wounds kind of knit themselves and you feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. The pain kind of resides. Okay. She's still sob. She's still she's still like crying. Maybe not as bad, but she is. You do see the the wounds heal, but you still see is kind of the cheering form of a Nihiria. She's clutching things to her chest, clutching some items. Did, did you escape? What happened? Yeah. So she she nods, but she she's like trying to say, like talk, and she's like I I I, I. <laughs> and she just breaks down. And she like curled in on herself. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, she, Evalsa's just gonna hold you while you cry, I guess. <laughs> you fall down, she fall down, she just falls down her knees and just, and he just starts sobbing heavily. Yeah, now I'm just gonna tuck you into her arms. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna be sobbing her eyes out. Are you dropping items or no? Or mm-hmm. she's like cling on them? Oh, she's like, she's like clinging. Okay, Death Cup, alright, just cling on. Uh, Evalsa reaches up to the Sending Stone, uh, messages the group and says, Nahiri isn't doing so great. Oh, do I still have... Did I get my Sending Stone back or no? No? Okay. You do not have it? Okay. The rest of group have I mean, gone. aren't they, on, aren't they on, up a roof? On a roof? Or a they... roof. You didn't hear anything because you don't have one. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, Saoirse and... Uh, What's okay. wrong? Uh, well, she seems to have gone through a lot. She's crying pretty, pretty hard. Uh, she had some wounds. I'm going to wait till she calms down before we try and come down from the roof. Uh, okay. What roof are you at? Abe also gives you basic description of whatever building she landed on. Okay. I this go over there. It looks a lot like a lot of the buildings. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what street are you at? I have no idea. Are you saying this as you're holding her or is it? It's mental. Yeah, mental. Yeah, mental. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And so at this point, she's probably trying to, like, force herself to calm down. And, like, is, yeah. And you just see, like, she's, like, trying to take deep breaths. And she's, like, hold, whatever she's holding, she, like, just keeps it in one arm clutched. And she's, like, trying to, like, wipe the tears away. And, like, just trying to catch her breath at this point. Hmm. Is everything okay? Oh, great. Possibly. If I can get some ale to that tiefling. Calm their nerves. We need uh, to find out wh- uh, what happened, how they were taken, and who it was. Hmm. Did Nahiri fly away from the explosions? Like, was she coming yeah, from the direction? Yeah, she's away from the explosions. Okay, um, Balsa's just I'm gonna get your attention gently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you have anything to do with those explosions? And she just shakes her head no. You came from that direction, um, do you know what might have caused them? She's nodding. Okay. Uh, I guess we need to get the others uh, together. Yeah, she nods and she's just like, and she's like trying to take deep breaths and you can kind of see she's calming down a little bit, but she's still like Mm -hmm. shaking. Just take your time. A couple of some. Yeah, so she's gonna, yeah. So she's like, finally, she's like, still good. And she takes a couple of breaths and the only thing she's like able to like really like get herself to say anything she's like and she like looks at you like really serious and you can still still steer tear stains she's like i found them found found who your friends what my my she, troop she's, yeah and she's like trying not to cry again <laughs> like break back down and she she nods you can see a balsa sort of tense up a little she looks like she's going to say something but she shakes her head and just we should we should get back to the others yeah, and she, she nods. She's just like, okay. Uh, Eve also reaches into her uh, bag, though, and, like, grabs a, a rag or a handkerchief or something, hands it to Nahiri. She takes it very gladly and starts, like, wiping her face, trying to clean up the tears and whatever snot, probably. <laughs> and she pro- it helps her feel, like, much better, at least more put together, because... The more she like sits here and talks with you, the more shame she's feeling. So, uh, yeah. So she, 
uh, kind of looks at it, she's like, I will clean this for you later. Uh, oh, okay. And she's like, okay. Um, before we go, though, are, are they still there? Yes. Are they okay? Are they alive? Yes. Okay. Let's get back to the others, then. Okay. You got you kind of make your way down, but well, you're all of, um so, Belrothine, Sirsha, Soren, Oku. You're kind of looking around. You see more people kind of heading towards the explosions. Others are kind of getting away, you know, getting out of dodge or leaving. You see the familiar forms of Nahiri and Evolves to kind of fly down to the the ground. Miss Nahiri, I'm glad that you are safe. As he bows, Nahiri still crying. No, she. You can see like her eyes are red and like puffy because she's been crying a lot. Okay. And she looks like she's about ready to break down any moment again, but she's not crying at the moment. I simply stare in concern. We should probably stay at an end to discuss things away from the public eyes. Be- see, Bill kind of nod. Prying ears, agrees. yes. Tell us everything after we get a room. She nods. Let's probably stay at a different end this time. Yeah. She looks at you guys kind of confused. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> the one she got kidnapped from. Okay. How long had... Sorry. Nikuri, yeah, sorry. Nikuri looks at Ibalsa. How long have I been gone? Uh, It's just been like a day or two. Uh, a few days. Oh, a few days? How many? It's been like a day. It's probably like two. You know what that Nikuri was gone at least a day from you. Okay. A um, couple days at most. She looks and just like trying to think of like what all the, all, the, all the crap she had to do it was just like okay just kind of nods and she just kind of goes silent because i was gonna say you will find a nearby inn kind of get off the road and there's a lot of commotion out if you're looking out one of the windows still a lot of commotion and you're all safely in um, the same room you kinda, you got a meeting because we're just several beds different several rooms it also goes to sit down on a bed she looks exhausted. No, I think just kind of stared and looks at this. So, you're going to tell us what happened? Um, she's going to... Is there a thing for, like, getting, like, drinking water? Yeah, there's a little, okay. sink, little basin you can get water. Okay. She's going to chug a couple cups of water first. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she probably gets, like, to, like, her fifth cup before she grabs it and goes to sit down. And first, she just kind of shows everyone, like, what she has that she's been clutching. Um, so as you see, as everyone sees it as, you hear me open, so you're going to just, like, place it down or like, yeah. on a table in the room. So you kind of, let's go, looks like they're gripping a lot of slack, and then you hear places these items on, a, on the table. You see a broken golden mask. It's very familiar looking, and some metal rimmed cards via deck are those are those curths she nods and she looks like she's gonna cry again <laughs> uh i break out my mess kit take a spoon out syrup and uh some dwarven hard uh alcohol pour a glass and mix it with syrup and say drink this wait you get, you're giving her what Basically, uh, a thick, uh, heavy drink to calm your nerves. Okay. Now, she's gonna take what it. happened to Corthus? She takes a sip real quick. What does it taste like? Does uh, it taste like shit? It doesn't taste like shit, but it tastes strong burning, but also Oof. sweet. You ever like mead? It tastes kind of like a strong mead. I don't drink alcohol personally. It's kind honey of beer. honey, honey beer. <laughs> honey beer. Honey okay. Honey beer. It's kind of it's pretty sweet. Yeah, ale. it's a bit spiced. Okay. Um, have you ever had mold cider? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have had maybe like not even that many kind of things. No worries. Um, okay, so she takes a sip. It helps her a little bit. And she kind of just like stares at the cup as she starts retelling what happened. Um... And you can see, like, she looks kind of ashamed, too. So, um, but she's, so she's sitting there and she's just like, my past has come to haunt me. I was taken by the Menarin family. They, apparently one of them has a personal grudge against me. Her 
daughter has gone missing. And I unfortunately have personal connections with that said daughter. It's been a couple years since I've seen her, but she, <laughs> that daughter was the one who ruined my life. So because of something, now you're a target. Yes. Her name is Prima Min- er, no. <laughs> Prima, no. Mm. What an no. odd name. Prila. Prila, thank you. Was it Prila? Prila. Oh, I, I keep hearing Prima, like Prima Donna. Prila. Yeah, that would work too, honestly. <laughs> okay. No, so her name is, the mother's name is Prila Minarin. She blames me for her daughter's disappearance. Why? Hell if I know. I don't know why her daughter's suddenly gone. As far as I'm concerned, she had a pretty cushy life. What enmity do they have against you? She thinks I'm the one, the reason why her daughter disappeared. Well, didn't you mention that her daughter ruined your life? She did. I haven't done anything about it yet, though. What happened? If, if you don't mind um, telling us, I don't really want to pry. You have a dark past that endangers us. We need to know. That's a little blunt. No, he's, he's right. It's not necessarily a dark past. It was back when I was in school. It was seven years ago. I haven't... Last I saw, she was still at the school. And I, she's the reason why I got kicked out. Why I had to become a thief. And... Sorry, continue. She kind of glares at you. Also glares at Okri. <laughs> um, she essentially tells you guys this, and she's like, uh, I was their scapegoat for, from what I understand, a magic circle of some sort. I don't know what it was, but, or it, what it was entailing. It wouldn't have, an, have anything to do with those uh, teleportation circles that the Minerans were supposedly creating, would it? DM, that's not a teleportation circle, was it? You have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Have I seen... No, never mind. Okay. Uh, okay, back in character. Um, I can't... I don't know. I I might be able if I see the cir uh, teleportation circle now, but it's been seven years. And as far as I'm concerned, she was still at the school living the dream when... I last saw her. I don't know what. I don't even. I don't even know she disappeared. But somehow her mother blames me. And I guess now. <sighs> and she just kind of groans and puts her hands in her head and takes another swig. Well, you're back. You're. Safe as can be. She just kind of snorts. See Bell kind I... of um, memory shift this. That was Spell. Who is Kurth dead? You said. Yes. Who killed him? I I don't know his name, but he was with the Strago family. What did they look like? Tall. Uh, that makes no difference <laughs> to me. She kind of that that gives gives a little bit of a smile from her. Sora Sora puts his hand up as like this tall or this tall and I, <laughs> on the. I'll have you know I'm a tall dwarf. So this tall. Can I point point to Bosa and then I go to I finish like no. <laughs> I saw the person who was about 6'4". Six, 6'4", four. Six, four is about Sora's height? Yeah. No, shorter than Sora. A little, a little bit, yeah, I wish. A little, it's a little bit. Okay, so shoulder. she'll, like, point, so, like, shoulder? Shoulder height. Yeah. Okay, so she'll put, like, she'll do, like, your shoulder. Mm. And what were they? He, he, I want to... I... I... He, damn, was he human? I couldn't tell what the hood had a, They had a hood. From what you got was, you believe they were just, like, Axel. Just, mm. Oh, Okay. Okay. They were 
just like Axel. A warforge. Yes. Hmm. Great. Fucking warforges. He was apparently hunting Kurth. Said he had to die because of his visions. I happened to, after I escaped the Minaran house, I stumbled upon Kurth uh, as he was fleeing. There was so much blood. Uh, Kurth said I would be a, a witness. And he had me hide so I could see what happened, so I could at least see who killed him. And yeah, she's like starting to tear up again. <laughs> and, uh, Take another sip. Do you know who casted that very deadly spell? I can only assume it was the Warforge. He was mm. definitely strong. Powerful mage. Mm. Yep. Belt comes in. <clears throat> that spell would be... I think my mother is capable of casting a spell, but... Not many others. I wonder. The Strago had ties. I wonder if they, maybe there's some record of some po powerful mage that had ties with the Strago family. Maybe that could help us. DM, can I roll a history check to see if I would know anything about that? You can since roll, my yeah. ties. Come on, Ah, oh, my hands are sweaty again. Um, let's see, history. So that would be a 21. 21? Uh, I'm trying to play. Who was the one who told you uh, don't face Strago? I think it was Axel said don't face Strago until you're ready. You kind of remember that. Yeah. But I wouldn't know anything about them keeping records of, like, mages. Can I? Uh, you just... You just remember hearing that um, Strago was very powerful. Mm -hmm. Since his mage seems very powerful, would he can a roll a history of any powerful mages like that that have passed away in, re in uh, passed away recently? Or? Roll history. Um, you've also um, you've also you've also heard of Strago being very powerful. Mm -hmm. Do I know powerful in what way? You just heard no one messes with them. Uh, eighteen. The only ones that really come to your mind are maybe the, the higher clerics you know through the church and the the crown princes come to your mind, a couple of them. You do know the the leader of um the the head of the Gate of Mat of Magic College is a Archmage of Great Power as well. And that that Archmage passed away? No. Oh. For once who died, none comes to your really head besides the old king king. Oh okay. Um, with being there to witness it, would I be able to tell if he was the one who cast that spell? Um, from what you've seen, he said he was going to kill him in a, kill, uh, in a very fantastic way. Okay. So it's safe to assume. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah. Uh, Nahiri's going to also, um, Kurth had, he, he has a, a, a mission for us as well. He, Told it, told me to t uh, tell the others we need to find Obsidian. He that he has. <laughs> She's like gonna take another set. The yeah, the mineral. <laughs> <laughs> he has Kurth's books of visions. We're going to need this. So it's a person. So it's a person, or is it it's not a place? A you got my hopes up. We need to go. We need to go to. We need to go to Obsidian, or we gotta find Obsidian. We need to find someone they called us Obsidian. That's what Kurt said. He said to. He said to seek the pirates. The pirates. Like the, the pirates. ones that are attacking the coast. He he didn't specify. He was, he was dying. Well, we are pirates. We also said he said explorers. Also. Oh, the explorers. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna relay that too. 
want to roll history on the explorers then. If I know anything about that since I've been, I guess, a mercenary for a while. I guess I'll roll. Yeah. The, does the explorer seem like something that I would come across? Um, do you, sorry, you're kind of drawing a blank for explorers. Can you use what inspiration? Okay. You can roll it. Okay. 21. Um, is that history? Yep. Would I? Actually, you have advantage, right? Oh, um. 25? Yeah, you can roll two. Yeah, okay. 25? 25. Yeah, 20. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. first I guess it'd be, so Okri, um, explorers you kind of think about, you remember there was a guild to explorers and that was actually Station Free Haven. What is yours equal? What's your total? Uh, what was I doing? History? Yes. yes. 25. So it's the same. All right. So you two. So you, boss, and Harry, you remember that there is a, there is a guild, and you've actually met some of the people. They go around, they would go and find exotic goods from other sites, from, you know, beyond the country, the kingdom, or even other parts of the kingdom that are more exotic, such as the jungles. Would I not know that since I'm a merchant as well? You would know it. You know of the, the Adventures Guild, but like I said, the ones you know that they could do this. Um, you just haven't really met any of them. Were they on the Gilded Isle? Yes, you do know they're on the Gilded Isle. You would, you would all three of you know that if they're a guild, they would have um, people in the on the Gilded Isle. Okay. So does... This... You, and you two, they're 25. You do know that the Explorers Guild would be the ones who would could talk with pirates, possibly. So... Um, okay. So the question is this, do we head for this, subs- find a subsidian guy, or are we going to still be on our quest to kill the Strago family? Wait, there's more in the Minaran house that I found Ibalsa's friends, her troop. Hmm. Ibalsa's fidgeting. Then we must go save them first. There's, and she, she's... I'm breaking down too, actually, here. Um, uh, you can see, like, she's, like, trying really hard not to cry, and she's just like, yeah, now I give up. As much as we should, that is not our priority. Free Haven is being invaded. I want to hear what Nehiri has to say. And she just kind of, like, waves. She's like, she's like, she's going to be a moment. She's actually going to stand up and go to, like, a corner or something to take some deep breaths or something. But I think that speaks of us. Any, any information is vital at this point, and I fear we we must move soon. Just received a message from the High Marshal. Capital, the palace has been attacked. The peace talks have failed and I believe the forces from Bloodgate are moving in on the Gilded Isle. We are to head there immediately and reinforce it. Not even a wink of sleep we get. We get to sleep on the way there. Yeah. We are to find the nearest airship tower and take it there. Yeah. If need be, if you guys want to head on ahead, I can go find your troop and... No. Nahiri's gonna come back at that. She's gonna... Like, I'm going to get my guild involved in this. There are other hostages. I can see if I can... I, I will talk to my guild head or Shah or someone. I will get them out. They're hurt, aren't they? She nods. They're alive, and they are stubborn. <laughs> yeah. They know you're okay, and that has given them hope. Well, if it's given them hope, they're not going to stop fighting anytime soon. I can promise you that. They're tough. I... Uh... Before we go anywhere, I, I need to contact my guild and see if I can get an operation going. Well, you see, Belle, if we're going to the Gilded Hall, all guilds are there. All right. Had to be airships. 
At least I get to show Solis that we took down her attacker. Wait, what? Um, you, you were there on the, on the airship during the carnival. It was all attacked. Yeah. I, I know you didn't know any of us at the time, but there was a girl that walked backstage. She screamed and was stabbed. Yeah, the guy with the rapier? Mm -hmm. The one we killed. Yep. You killed him? He's dead. Yes. Without me? And I pull out his head. Oh gosh, she's the one who also the... averts her eyes. In this pointedly. middle of the street. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're in the end. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, sorry. I put it back into a bag. <laughs> she just looks like shell shocked. It's just like. At, like at this point, she's not crying anymore. She just looks like. I don't even know like, how to describe how she looks. She's like confused, like trying to process everything here. And all she can muster to say is, You killed him without me? That man was true garbage. He tried to kill Okri unfairly. I'm going to melt down his head until it's just a skull and pass it down to my kin. <laughs> Sirsha, make a face. <laughs> is Sirsha groaning? Yeah, that was me groaning. <laughs> he. And she's gonna start cursing in Infernal between Infernal and Elvish. So I don't know how many of you guys can understand I can, this. I can, I can understand, understand Elvish. Elvish. <laughs> I don't okay. speak those dirty languages. <gasps> Rude! <laughs> but she's like throwing her hands up, so she's saying yeah. that um, SOP tacked my guild. You're probably gonna be like bits and pieces. You're gonna hear like the B word, mm. guild, uh, personal vendetta. I should have been there. Even oh my gosh. Are really wide. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's kind of been shocked out of her phone. I funk. only know the strong languages. Pretty. You also How much of this did you understand? Draconic and With all your passage, you kind of see it look like Bell's kind of looking at distance and kind of nodding. <laughs> we will be heading to the nearest tower and the Shah will meet us there. Sounds dandy. Yeah. See, um, Bell guy reach over and pick up the person again. Is the person awake? They're kind of awake. They're still kind of dazed. It's just kind of like what's going on. Okay. Uh, are you, you see, Bell? Are you good to trap? Uh, I, I think. Okay. Bell puts the elf kind of half elf down. Just... Oh, uh, and here, if you're wondering why we have this oh. person with us. I'm not too surprised. Uh, Chrome disguised themselves. Um, I assume. Okay, out of character. Here he has heard of Chrome. Okay, who is Chrome? You've heard of Chrome. You've heard that Chrome is the face of Straw, though. You've heard of that. Oh. Okay. We uh, met with Chrome, who is a Warforged. We spoke with this person who said they were Chrome, and um, they weren't. Chrome did something. A control spell or something, I'm not sure. But, uh, when I drew my sword to, uh, maybe get them to back down, Chrome said, I'm already leaving the building, and then this person slit their stomach. Dang. And uh, we saved them, and now they are indebted to us. Uh, we're just going to take them to safety and maybe find someone who can ask the right questions, I guess. They might know something. Okay. Here I can. Nods. It's not what I had planned, but very well. He also glares at you. I don't think I want to know this, what you were uh, planning, Okri. This is a question. Um, while traveling around in the city, because we've been around for a little while, was there like was there any of my uh, churches or temples? You uh, you would know there's a main temple area on the lady. On the lady? Yes. Portion of the uh, city. One of the one of the islands is called the Lady or the Muse. How far is that from where we're at? You know, it'd be a a good distance because you're in one of the kind of the work district, one of the warehouse districts. You know, it'd be a good uh, couple hours. A couple hours to get there. Yep. Is that also next to the direction where the airships might be? 
you're not too familiar. You do know there's towers that you've seen an airship tower, but you do know there's probably a lot, a lot more towers in the city than the ones that you've seen. You look perplexed. Spill it. Well, if the peace treaties are broken, I need to send a message to my lord. What kind of message? Uh, just, just to see if he's all right and what he's planning on doing next. Bell kind of speaks up. I, I don't think Blood Gate would attack two locations. I think well, perhaps if Lord Faustus sends a message to your lord, maybe we'd start do a much more, uh, do much more calming and. Can you, can you get that arranged? I can ask the High Marshal. If you can, please. We should go to the nearest tower. Yes. I can't wait for our reunion with Gunther. Well, yes, this your goat, correct? No, my mountain goat. Oh, yes, the mountain goats. Proud. Beautiful creatures. That's right. Fitting for a mount of a dwarf. He balls is giving both of you kind of a weird look. Subtly. She's not being obvious about it. Okay. The side eye. <laughs> She'll kind of leave the, the safety of the room to the extra victim in tow, I guess. Stragos to puppet. You head towards the nearest. It takes you a little about 20 minutes. You find the kind of the work district. One of their the towers. You see the airship's kind of flying around it, kind of docked on it. You kind of go up to it and you start climbing up the, the tower. Get to one of the ships. And while you're waiting there, you just see, um, uh, kind of, so you're, so, Susha, you see you've been being followed. And you see a person kind of running, get, get, running up this, um, up these other stairs that kind of catch up with you. I would probably notice that if they are running. I'm paranoid, so I'm looking okay. out. Uh, so you see first, though. Who's that? I take out my sword and have it kind of at the ready, pointed at them. Oh, okay. You see, as like, they kind of walk up to you. <sighs> they kind of reach over. You see, as they like, kind of sit there and just start to like, Everything just changes. <sighs> uh, and they just have, like, their mask up. They change the form of the shaw. Oh, uh, kind of just lean, goes and leans against you, swords. Uh, are you all right? Uh, <laughs> Sir Shaw, are you okay? Uh, hold on the finger. Uh, I give I give him some of my water. Oh, shit. <sighs> Can I stand up? <sighs> Top ship is, is ours. I'm gonna take the elevator. Uh, that was an elevator. <laughs> Couldn't you have messaged us? I I wanted to make sure you were I talked to you in person. Why? We'll talk on the way. Okay. They got one up. Yeah, you know, I guess kind of brings you to the all the elevator and kind of looks like pays a little toll. You guys are going up to all the way up. Before they leave, I put my hand on their shoulder and say, "Word of advice, leg day." <laughs> you, get you just kind of get a, a stare. Yes. Yeah. You actually kind of see, see them fixing their composure and. Uh, <laughs> you chuckle. You, you actually hear Sora for the first time actually chuckle. You make sure that side comment getting a little, a little old. Forgive my um, exhausted form. I've been constantly on the move. Um, Is there anyone else with us in the elevator? No. Okay. It's just I've called in most of my favors and the troops from the Blood Dirt. The Bloodgate troops are on the move, seeking key sections of the city now. How unfavorable. They are making a move for the Gilded Hall. We believe that is the most important key. If they were to gain that, they would have power over most of the city, as the Durberg family, we found out, has is called for an emergency meeting with all the heads of the guilds. If it goes, all the guild will be forced to surrender to Tiberius and his army. 
We can't let that happen. No. What happened to the loyalty of Freehaven and Fosters? As we, as you've heard, some of the majority of the, uh, the powerful families have swore allegiance to Tiberius or to the Minar in this case. We'll just have to beat that out of them, won't we? Yes. And such, I've called most of uh, much, much favors. These favors are reinforcements, which will meet us there in guarding the Gilded Hall. Lord Shaw. I'm what a lord, but mm. thank you. Have you any word of my, have you heard any word of my lord? Has he done anything except swore any allegiance to anyone while this was happening? I, all I can know is there is tension between Bloodgate and Dragonspire, but I do not believe there is open conflict. Hmm. Are you able to send a message to Faustus? In... Not right now, apparently he's in a safe house. Whenever you can. I I can, and I will find you after the guild hall has been defended. Thank you. Adonis will be there and meet you there. And uh yeah, Okri Tex noticed that. Um Right, you meet we hire several mercenary guilds to help reinforce it, and there's also the guild guard, and as well, you'll meet the gutter guard. Do you not be um, taken back by their appearance? They are they are scrappy. They are true scrappers. They will do their part. If you say so. Anyone wants to roll history, you can sure you can if you want to. Sure. I think he balls is smart enough to put two and two, two, and two together. Out of game. Are these ratkin rat folks? Mm. 18. <laughs> yeah, 18 is true too. Um, that one. <laughs> I'm too tired. 18 for what? Where are you rolling? Well, you, uh, on the these guilds. That... Okay. You know they're definitely the mercenary guilds. This, the gutter guard are a little bit new. Um, 15 on gutter guards as well. Um, for both of you, I would say you've heard of small stature of gutter guard. Would uh, Piccadilly have spoken of the gutter guard? Um, I don't really spoke of the guard. You kind of, since you're from here, you kind of know what they are. Okay. You know who they are. Too. Okay. Right. And then, um, Shaw is, I will ride with you part way, but unfortunately I will have to leave you just after we enter the Gilded Isle. I have a question for you. Yes. No, I don't have a... F- I'm not frightened of heights falling. So a means to rectify that. Before you get on, you'll be given some tokens to help you ease your worries of falling off. Are these the feather tokens I've heard so much about? Yes. Fantastic. I don't care. There, don't you? Didn't you already buy something like that, like Featherfall, like way back mm-hmm. when? Mm-hmm. Okay. He's saying fantastic because he gets a free one. It's a reassurance they give all the <laughs> riders of things. Well, those who pay the extra fee. I mean, we'll fly on their ships. Right. Um. Yes. Uh, Nishiri's gonna come out from wherever she is on this elevator. Shaw. He kind of stops at the end and gets the guy in. Yes, you do that kind of like, you see the gates kind of open. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll say I'm guessing we're going to be filing out when they open. Yeah, just uh, hold that thought until we get on the ship. She nods. You kind of, you see the shot kind of go up and talking to one of the, see one of the people who are getting there ready and they're just nodding and talking. All right, here we get on. Uh, before I get on, I step into my uh, climber's harness. <laughs> oh my just God. watch him suit up. <laughs> Sir Hans tries looking at you too. Afraid of falling? By fall, 
and were boarded, it means I won't be able to be there to cut and maim and stab. Please do not cut, maim, or stab. The crew will be controlling the ship. As long as they're not wishing for my head to leave my shoulders. I can't speak for them in that term, but they are loyal to Fossils. Can I just walk on? Volsa shrugs and follows him on. Okay, he looks over. That means just don't piss him off. You should be good. And she continues. And you see, just while you all walk on, um, Shaw just um, turns around and looks at a, And who is this? Points to the extra. Uh, I call him Bob the Half of. Ignore Okri. That was the person Chrome was using as a puppet to pretend that he was a person of flesh and blood. Ah. You, you, so did you kill Chrome? No. He you can't see the, fa- the faces go down. Not for lack of trying. He was smart. He had uh, ways of making sure we didn't catch him. I, If he were that person, I'd thought to maybe scare him into giving up, but... The chances were not favorable. You're gonna see the... How so? I think he had every single person in that bar there just to kill us. On top of that, after was, that was said and done, when we did catch up, we are all in dire straits. We not haven't rested since then. for combat. Every Strago member in that bar died that day. Even a little bit of me. <laughs> and I look around and Shaw kind of pointing to one of the below deck. Kind of going down and motion for all you to fall. Mm-hmm. They will go up atop. Points to the person who's controlled. You kind of guys are kind of, kind of shoving off as you guys go down. You feel the, the shifting of the ship and just leave the tower. I go on all fours. And you feel kind of a, a moment of like weightless, wait, weightless. It's like, oh. Just, just goes off. Morden's beard saved me. I look around and I kind of get up and I I knew that was happening. <laughs> kind of, you go below deck. There's a room in there. Motion for the room. And look around, closing the door and make sure light. So you, you all walk in and see Bell. What did Chrome say of Marwin? They wanted to know who Myron was. They don't know what he is, but their boss was interested. They're seeking Myron's knowledge. I relayed that during the message I sent. Yes. What? Harry looks really confused. She has no idea what the hell's going on. You were there for Marwin. Hmm? Yeah, she knows that, but that she didn't know what someone else knows about Marwin. From what I've been told, only a handful of individuals know who Marwin is. Most what, of them are dead now. What, what, they, what, uh, what seemed like what Chrome wanted was to know what Marwin is. So they know that Marwin's a powerful person, but they don't know what Marwin is. It also means there's a mole. Mm-hmm. I'm looking around you, besides Gab and Gob and myself, I would say... There is three other individuals who are alive, besides the ones in this room, who know Marvin. It's High Marshal, Adonis, and Faustus. That's kind of disheartening to hear. Well, he was captured by... High King Faust, but Faust and Faust's team it could be one of the crown princes, perhaps, but I do not think they really know. The only one I know who helped him was Lord Faustus's father. Him, and of course, Adonis helped in the capture of Marwyn. They have a few others, but they are dead now. Uh, are the Stragos above Necromancy? 
because I really don't want to enter entertain the idea that uh, the High Lord or the High Marshal or Adonis are could one of them be the mole. I, I don't like that idea. No, you couldn't. As you say, the Stragos aren't above anything. From what I've heard, they are willing to do anything and everything for power. They don't. We'll discuss it more later. Um, right. Instructed to tell you, you, as I said, you are going to the Gilded Hall to provide assistance. Donis is there. He will aid you while he can. I'm to meet and go meet with Faust, Faustus. I will speak to him about this matter. He also just nods. Rest now and prepare yourselves. It will be a surely quite the fight. Okay, see, so Shaw just walks out and kind of goes. Um, she's gonna, mm-hmm. before he walks out, she's gonna be like, wait, Shaw, we need to talk. Kind of looks around. For everyone, or is this just for between the two? Uh, if everyone wants to listen, they can. I already told them most of this. Shaw kind of turns around and looks towards you. Uh, she's gonna pull out, first she's gonna probably uh, pull out, like, sh- show her the mask first. Of Kurt. Uh, you see the eyes just go wide. And... Kurt is dead. And kind of reaches out and kind of looks like grabs the mask. And she's gonna relay everything that uh, Kurt told her about finding Obsidian. And then uh, she's gonna be like, I don't know if I should talk to you since I guess you're the head honcho of our, my, my guild. But we need to formulate a, a, a rescue plan. In the Minaran mansion on their isle. They're holding Ibalsa's uh, friends there and some others. I need your help to get them out. Who are these others you speak of? Here is going to kind of glance at the others. She's not sure she wants to say this in front of them. Uh, so she's just kind of going to kind of whisper. Um, I roll perception. I'm gonna roll. Yeah, me too, because we're already paying attention to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, she does. Or I guess yeah. you're kind of looking, you see a finger by your mouth. At a later time. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me, did you meet Meriden? Is that the guard? Yes, he. I'm assuming you're the one who sent him to help get me Can out. Can he give a little nod? Nod. Of course. I see you got your gear. Which reminds me, gotta reach to the bag and pulls out the rest of your items. Oh! And she kind of perks up at this. And she's gonna ruffle through her bag. Is everything intact? Well, mostly intact. Mostly intact? Are my two bottles of wine still in there? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, no. <laughs> Give a nod. Wait, did um, Ogre steal my wine? You don't know. We know. There's no bottles in there. But then, um, you see Shaw. What happened to Kurt? Oh, I relate all that. Yeah. I relate everything that happens to Kurth and what he said. So how I was a this, witness. You believe it was this individual who did these feats of magic. I had a game. Repeat that. I only heard part of that. I'm asking, do you believe there was this individual who performed these feats of magic? Okay. Uh, in character. I can only assume. I mean, considering call, what, said, what did Kurth call them? Uh... You, Strago. You, out of character. I'm sorry. You just said his. He was a Strago. I believe huh? that was Strago. I hear he pales. The Strago. Yes. The head of the Strago family. So we know Strago is a mage. Why magic? Not a mage. A sorcerer. Why was he? Isn't he also a warforged? Didn't you mention that, Nahiri? Yes. The entire family of the ones in power are warforged. 
Hmm. Can Warforged be sorcerers? Warforged can be anything. Built for anything. I know what they're going to be. Scrap metal. If Straw goes in town, that something big is happening. Besides the uh, obvious. Thank you, Nehemi. I will speak with Athos for this. See if you can spare some members of the guild if they can aid in retrieving these others. Thank you. She's gonna kind of give him like a quick hug and then like hop away. Can I kind of, kind of, kind of stop you so you got like a half hug in there and just Oh no, she's gonna go fast. Like oh. he's got. Be- all right, as you go quickly, you go and you're stopped, and there is a, a look like an odd weapon planted in your chest as you rush to them, <laughs> and you heard a quick click as it, as it kind of rushed in. Okri just gives a grin. Be careful now. I'm not saying I don't trust you. It's it's all reflex. <laughs> not he respects that, and she asks for like a handshake, like awkwardly. She's just like, okay, like kind of compromise. <laughs> Like she like puts her shoulders up and she's just The weapon just like, uh, disappears and you see from the same hand and the weapon just disappears and they go and shake you with the hand that was holding the gun. You gotta teach me that trick. Okay, it's like, I will leave you to your thoughts. Okay, because a bow and kind of leaves the room. I'll be up deck if you need me. Okay, close the door. I, uh... Harry's gonna say this through her bag. What is in my bag right now? Well, Are my... stuff, there just seems to be some stuff missing. What's missing? I want details. Looks like some gold, and looks like those bottles of wine. Anything else missing? I don't think you would be able to tell, like, exact number of golds, unless you're like me, who has yeah. a ledger. I watched Okri take your gold. Here he's going to slowly <laughs> turn, like, that really creepy. And as you slowly turn, I'm not meeting your eyes, and slowly turning away towards Okri? my bunk. Okri? That's not my name. Aren't we in a storeroom, though? Out of character, do I know his full name? Do we know? Lord Okri. I'm not gonna call him Lord Okri. He's <laughs> Lord, though. Did you say he that? Did you say master. that in character? Yeah. Master. Lord, master. Okay. <laughs> not Lord, master, because he's a, a master smith, master... Basically, he's a master if, craftsman. If that's what... Okay. Yeah. And now you want to be... Okay. Master Okri, do you, by chance, have the rest of Nahiri's gold? And he's going to quip with that. He's not lying. And he says, because it is his opinion. And he says, no, I only have mine. Pro hmm. perception check on that. <laughs> perception, what? <laughs> perception? Perception, or I don't know. I want to see if he's lying. Insight. Insight? Yeah, you can roll insight. He can roll, yeah. That's a nat 20. Yeah. Right. You know from, I mean, automatically. You know, <laughs> from the yeah. He both said he was, and he's saying, this is my gold. You, knowing how much you know Ogre out, you know, considers the month, your goal you took his. <laughs> okay. Then Nikki is going to look. He's like, okay. 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 I'll make you a deal. Tell you what. And uh, Ogre's ears kind of chip up and he halfway looks towards <laughs> you, just side eyeing you. Raised one eyebrow. We can call this gold payments in exchange. For me, you saving you all those times. Fantastic no. idea. No, 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 no. Not that off. easy. She's chasing you. <laughs> she will you ride do. your shoulders. Yes, if she you're has walking to. out of the room and yeah. you run after him. Um, Bell or thing is turn your off since I'm gonna go and sleep so I have all my spells ready. For the coming conflict and kind of leaves. I guess with it's just me and Ibosa and uh, Sersha. I know your name. You po- but you pointed. <laughs> well, like you're point. trying to remember. <laughs> well, yeah. Go on. I um. Uh oh. Wait, he has it. Damn it. Uh, okay. Give me the present. We're halfway down the hall, probably at this point. Yeah, we are. I have a loud voice. We're yelling at each other, so we wouldn't really hear you too much. <laughs> you know, you have to follow him. Go. Yeah. I, I guess I go follow, and I say with my loud, booming voice, 
Oh, great. Give me the present. All right, as you leave the room, you hear you see the... Oh, great! He leaves, and then leaves only you of all sensors in the room. I guess I'm just going to go sleep now. Uh, I look towards Nahiri and say, Excuse me. It seems I have pressing matters to attend to. This oh, will have no, to wait till later. Well, no, they're all I'm doing that. Yeah. So, Susha, you, you leave to go sleeping. It's yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to use sending to send a message to Solise. Okay. I've got one use of that spell left. Um, I'm just gonna summarize. Basically, I'm telling her, uh, troop is alive but fighting, uh, don't take this word for word, I'm summarizing right now. Troop is alive, hurt, but fighting, um, the Bloodgate troops are moving in on the Gilded Hall, be ready, you could be attacked, we're on our way. Okay. Also, I killed the guy that stabbed, or we killed the guy that stabbed you. Okay. No, actually, uh, nix that last part. I have something cool to show you. So what are your 25 <laughs> words? Uh, he just uh, he's summarizing that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Sounds cool. Okay. Okay, you got, uh, you got, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Can I cast sending at a higher level? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm really tired. This is the last you'll hear from me until I slept. But I'm okay. Okay. Good night. That's you again. <laughs> I'll let you just. I'll let you sort that matter out with Nahiri. Do you, can I please have the present back? Let's make a deal. What oh, deal? <laughs> so, boss says you go leave the room to go find your court. The court where you're gonna sleep at. You two are so um, Nahiri or Sirsha. You pretty much you find the same area. So you and Bell and Ebalsa are kind of fine there. You guys are all kind of like sleep in the kind of the same room as you're in an airship. Yeah. Is there a top bunk? Are there bunks? Dibs on yeah, the top? Yeah, pretty much there's, there's pretty much their hammocks. Dibs on they're the highest. Okay. okay. Heck yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> you are all getting ready to go sleep. Nahiri, Okri, and Sora, you are still walking around trying to talk to each other. Let's make a deal. And I got a whisper in your, your ear um, as I pull you closer to my head. <clears throat> Get that one away from me and then I'll, I'll, I'll hand the present over. Well, I want to hand it to Pert myself. Yes. Make something up. <laughs> You're like standing behind you, like tapping her foot, like... I have to go take a wicked piss. <laughs> <laughs> you, see him, you, <laughs> you see you're behind, you're kind of blocked by him. Uh, in this kind of narrow confines of the airship, you're kind of blocked by the huge uh, floor soil. You hear it. Dragonborn, move your ass. I have I, been... I stop you and I say, I will pay whatever he talk. That's not the problem. I gotta... This is a perfect opportunity. I'm trying to get him to help me with something. I need this. And this is just the perfect opportunity to get him to do what I need to do. <sighs> oh, great. <laughs> and he's just whistling a, a mining song. And, uh... Don't worry about the gold. And he's, he's saying under his breath, Oh, I gotta take a piss. <laughs> and he's oh. just... He's ignoring you guys. Debts are settled. Stops at his track. No, oh, that's too easy. Ah! Oh, the privy is calling. Off to the john. Uh, what? Do I have my sending stone back? Was uh, it in my bag? Really can't you do find it. Okay. She's gonna use her sending stone to you. Um, and in her, like, through. she's literally gonna yell. So you're unable to get through. <laughs> you. I she looks that. at Sora. Move now. <laughs> uh, listen, he has something in mind. I, I'm glad you're back, Miss Nahiri. How do you how do you intimidate someone? <laughs> well, intimidation. <laughs> What's that Too plus? charisma sucks. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm going to try say, anyways. I think it'd be funny. But I say this. We nope. are, we're on the same airship. It's an 18. You use your luck. Oh, uh, let me see. Or I don't know how many. Ins- you do have your last inspiration. Did you say you got an 18, though? Hmm? Yeah, that's an 18. It's not bad. I mean, is that Except not enough? Will. It's up to the player, if they're willing. You huh? would be intimidated by this angry, very angry... Um, I mean, and you think that she pretty much telling you to move your ass? <laughs> no. Plus seven. Oh. Damn. Uh, so she said a long time. Okay. You just see, just see him steps back, kind of um, scoots over as much as he can, just let you go through. 
Probably the only time I'll ever try to intimidate someone. Okay. She's going to bolt for Okri and tackle his back. Oh. So you go and you uh, find Okri is actually legitimately in the job. Yeah. Okay. It's close to the door. I hate you. <laughs> she's, okay, she's going to bang on the door then. Um, you smell uh, the hint of tobacco burning. <laughs> is there smoke coming from it? Um, it'd be very a whiff light. of smoke. Yeah. Yeah. You see, there's a little bit of smoke coming from the bathroom. <laughs> is he whistling a tune while you're? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you hear you whistling a tune from this jaw and it's some smoke. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. So she's <laughs> banging on the door, and she's like, "Oh great, I know you're not taking that piss. Just come out here and talk to me." And you don't hear anything for a little bit, and then you hear a flask. <laughs> That's a waste of good ale! <laughs> and, uh, he don't hear anything else for a bit. Are you okay? So you're just gonna stand there, wait for her? Um, no. She's gonna be like, <laughs> she's just like, the debt will be settled if you just teach me how to, how to speak dwarf. I want to learn your language. And the door kind of teeters open with a kick. Of him slowly pushing it open. You see him, he's just sitting um, fully clothed and all that stuff with um, a pipe in hand and a raised eyebrow. I won't come after you for the gold if you teach me your people's language. It's gonna cost more than that. You took... Mm, was it 300 something? 366 and one... <laughs> Over, but you haven't counted your gold properly. He's got you there. You just know you took money. You don't know how much. Uh, based on the weight, a good sum. Yes. And she's like, she's like filling her purse like in front. She's like, you took a good sum here. I think that's worth some language classes. On top of, I seem to have some wine missing here. Those were some nice ass bottles of wine. Yes, there was a note that said, uh, wines were uh, a wine. wine. It was. One wine bottle. That was a bit drunk in that haze. I can't remember what it was written. I threw the note out. You can't prove it. I wrote the note. <laughs> he knows there's a note. <laughs> I wrote the note. And I'm a thief, so, you know, I keep logs of what exactly I have at the time. And I had... And she's going to pull out. She actually has a list of what she has. Here we go. Right here. One bottle of wine for Oakry. And then one bottle of wine for me. How was I supposed to know? You weren't around. Why were you trifling through my stuff in the first place? You could have been dead, and therefore I could have used it to bolster our defenses and our rations and so forth. Morality. If I was dead. But as you can see, I'm not. And as you I can see, there may be a ghost in front of me. And he slowly closes the door... Faking a... Ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm the door. He can't close it. <laughs> strike test. Yeah, strike test. <laughs> oh, I boy. hate you. I'm gonna use my lucky if I fail. Probably fail. Oh, right? yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, it's 11. 26. Mm. As you... Hard as you go and try to stop it, he just... No, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't, oh! <laughs> close it! <laughs> I'm not coming out. This ship is haunted. <laughs> She's gonna yell. Yeah. If you want, huh? You can roll perception on the door. Perception. Or investigation on the door. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty. Non nat. Look at this door. You realize you could unlock it or possibly take it off its hinges. I want to unlock it. All right, you unlock it. You probably. I'm guessing you're gonna close it again. No. <laughs> you just open the door. Just go. You hear a lock and you hear this the seats. The angry form of and here he opens the door and lock after You know how it's reading glasses on and it's reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> She's cursing an infernal. She's like, I just want to learn your people's language. I think what a do you bottle mean, of your wine people. I said your people. I'm pretty sure this is pretty loud, so I go in. <laughs> I'm people, oh, man, a lot of people need to go to the bathroom. All right. So this large hulking frame of sword is approaching <laughs> Where you're both over by the, the bathroom. Is it? everything okay? No, this is occupied, obviously. <laughs> and she looks. And she, you can see she is getting... See, she's so tired. She is so tired at this point. 
And she just looks and she's like, Sora, please help me. What do you want? How do I... Do you speak so? What, what do you speak? I speak some Dwarvish and Draconic. Uh, you don't know me. Okay. Uh, she's like, I'm trying to get him to agree to teach me how to speak Dwarvish. And considering how much gold he took and both of my bottles of wine, I think that's sufficient pay. As you're doing that and talking, I'm silently flipping you off in different meanings and symbols with these camps. I actually know Her back isn't turned to you. She can see. No, it. that's why. I go if if need be, I could take the debts and teach you Dwarvish. Ah, it wouldn't be the same. I say, I say perfectly in Dwarvish. What? <laughs> Modern Dwarvish. You don't have the sense of the archaic means. Uh, she's had a long, terrible past few days. Can you please just teach her? I'll cover the gold cost. I'll as, think about it. As someone with your extensive honor and great power and great intellect, oh, yeah. simply, <laughs> her hand in her simply face. you, simply you, the great magnificence, Okri can teach someone of value this beautiful language. I am great, so you say. But if I am so great, I might be wasting my time. How would I know I wouldn't be wasting any? But think about it. You've seen Nahiri fight and the potential Nahiri has. Think about it. Ah, yes, I remember the first time. She came screaming up with a knife from a kitchen, stabbing another dwarf behind their back. <laughs> but how's she screaming? But well, that's, that's how you but, remember but Master Okri, think about it. This person is quite strong and could have it. Hurt. Have you looked at those arms? <sighs> she like, puts her hands on her chest, like. And as you're all talking here, I'll go, 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 go. Quiet! <laughs> <laughs> <On> the revolver. <sighs> all I'm just saying is her name might be known throughout the world now of, of these deeds that she's doing. The person who taught her Dwarvish might be uh, something that can definitely help her. That seems like a lot of pressure. <laughs> okay. Oh, can the not great and mighty Okri not handle it? Master Okri. It's not I. I would not want to dishonor my ancestors of teaching someone who may be unworthy. I speak five languages. I think I can handle one more. <sighs> How about oh, the- that's not it. When I teach you Dwarvish, I have to teach you the history of Dwarves. Out of character. How much do I know? <laughs> what <would> I know? <laughs> anyway, being how, a sage. Do you being with Oku, you know, he's also fond of telling the stories. And you know the dwarven history is quite expensive, but that's mm-hmm. all you got. Master Okri, are you also good at dual wielding? Sometimes, if it's multitasking. But I prefer a, sh- a shield and a sword. Hmm. So not two blades at once, or weapons at once. I could, but I trust my trusty blast wall. Hmm. <sighs> Nahiri, Mrs. Nahiri, you have had a terrible past few days. Let me teach you the the words of Draconic. And or Dwarvish, if either or. Hmm. And if she you kind of really want to know, like taps her chin, dwarvish, from this fellow, you be some... putting a stain on the dwarf's history. And whose fault would that be? You for not after offering a better price. You hear some walking, kind of approaching you, and you see the shaw. <laughs> Finish your shit. Teach her the dwarvish and go to sleep. Kind of walking. And she points. She's like, "Ha! Huh, she told you so." And she runs out the room. Master Oki. I'm not loyal to the Shah, I'm loyal to the Fastus. Master Oki, why were you like this? She could have been so... It's not that hard. So you okay. ran off with the Shah? Yes, yeah, so I ran down the hall. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> They're a bad thief. Would I have uh, heard that? No, you ran off, so... How far down am I when he said that? I'm speaking normal, not yelling. Okay. Darn it. Alright, well... They can't even do a simple job. They needed help to sneak out... 
Out of all my years of living, you know us dwarfs. We do not trust easily. Indeed. It's the same with the Dragonborn. But I feel like Nahiri has a good heart. And I feel like she could be a very powerful ally for us. Right. We should put all the people with good hearts on the forges. Doesn't matter their talent or training. I agree. And he gets up from the toilet, right. um, kind of taps his pipe down the loo, and uh, puts it back into a bag. And I say, can I please get my present now? Adios, adios. And gives it to you. Thank you. All right. That are you, uh, I'm guessing you're going to go head to a uh, porch to go sleep? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You, you get there, you kind of see um, sleeping forms of Searsha. But with the end, then you see up way up high up on the top one you see um Ibalsa. Uh I'm gonna go to a wall. Actually a center beam in the middle of this place. Uh I'm going to have my uh climbers kit. I'm gonna find something I can hook it into or wrap it around the uh with your, beam. Yeah, so with your tools you can attach it to this beam. Um and with that, uh, I have my back towards it, my shield over me. And I fall asleep. You, you're sleeping on the floor. With my pack underneath me, okay. it's cushioned. Put your pack and you like put your shield over you like a blanket. I mean, my full all my armor is on me. You have okay. to like slip in hockey gear or something like yeah. that. Yeah, it's comfortable. Okay, so you fall asleep and you're pretty much have the pack and then you have the shield over you like a sleeping like that, and you're hooked around the beam. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you um Harry? Did you are you going to sleep as well? Uh, she's going to bathe first. Uh, or is there anywhere night? to bathe? Not on this airship, no. Dang. Oh, it's gonna suck. So you're gonna bathe. Got it. Go. Off you go. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, flap the ship and go bathe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, okay, cup. Um, I guess she would probably. Oh, she's gonna rifle through. She's looking for her letter. Is it there? Letter for? Her brother that she wrote. Well, that you wrote? No, no, it's not. It is not. Okay. She's going to be a little stumped and a little sad. And... Oh, she ran after the Shaw, too, right? You like followed right the Shaw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she does want to talk to him one more thing. All right. You find the Shaw. Shaw's yeah. Up. Shaw, I have another favor to ask. Before Kurth passed... He informed me of something, and I need your help. What is it? As you probably know, I have a little brother. No. <laughs> she kind of goes, she's like, okay. Well, I have a little brother. And it has... I have been trying to protect him. And keep him out of all of this. And I thought where he was, he was safe. But Kurth says he's not going to be for long. I need your help to get him to magics. Or, is that the right place? Magic gate. Magic gate. To magic gate. Guess mm. okay, so he kind of stops. Forgive me. Uh, I don't want to sound. Heartless. I will do all I can, but we should first deal with the situation at hand. I know you mean well. Now puts the hand on your shoulder. You care for your for your fam for your brother, but you must face it that we can't do anything from here. Only until we're done, we will be able to try. She's going to look and she's like, is there going to be time, though? If we don't deal with this now, there's no point of worrying about later. She looks and she's going to look and she's like, okay. Think I'm of this going. way. If you lose this war and you flee, you're just going to bring it back to your brother. Okay. And she like, takes a deep breath. She's like, I will trust you. 
just... I need to make sure he stays alive. Anything happened to him? And she, she, she looks like she's like she's like gonna cry, but she also has that determination. She's just, she's just like he is my world. Without him, I am nothing. And she's gonna walk off. Okay, shot us. Walk the other way. All right. Okay, she's gonna go back to the room. Are you gonna go and find like a bunk to? Going to sleep in. Top bunk. Okay. Sorry, you are the only one left as everyone else is kind of going to find their place to sleep. Uh, I'm just going to put the present like right next to the bunk, right next to uh, Ibosa. I'm at the top bunk. There's nothing yeah, to place it on. the top part. They're hammocks. <laughs> you could, you definitely get like, it's like just above like your head and you're like, you kind of see where Ibosa is. Hmm. hmm. You do know you just give it to her later. Yeah, that's what I was, that was what I was thinking. All right, I just yeah, I'll just I'll just go to bed then. All right, kind of, you're having a hard time finding a hammock your size, but you find out that you kind of lay on two of them, with like you just have your leg up and you're laying on the other side, mm-hmm. your ass is kind of hanging down with mm-hmm. your tail on the ground. You kind of hold you up. Mm-hmm. All right, with that you are all falling asleep and you get a full rest, long rest. Yay! And we're end this episode here. Thank you and join us for the next episode of Sore Feet Adventurers.